It's 97.1 Amp Radio. It's McCabe, and today taking a break from his busy schedule, DJ, producer, awesome guy, party favor. Wow. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been introduced with awesome guy at the end. That's awesome. Okay, thank well, you. I, I, you're pretty awesome. You have thank the you. hair clip in the... Uh, oh, yes. Uh, thank, you for point, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> yes. Uh, I was having a bad hair day, and I didn't want to wear a hat on camera. Okay. Uh, and so I put in these very uh, manly hair clips here. No, it looks good. Yes. I feel left out that you didn't bring me a hair clip to have, because I feel like I should have... It well, now you can have me on next time. Okay, next time. Ah. I shall. Um, so how you been? Been great, man. Just finishing up my album, and it feels so good to, like, I'm on that finishing stretch now where we're kind of now, you know, sending stuff off to get mixed and, you know, finalizing the track list, and it's like, you know, I feel like I've been doing this for a year and a half now, so I'm ready to get it done. Uh, what's What was, like, the process starting on this album? What kind of mood... Uh, where were you when you were starting the, the process? Yeah, I think for me, um, you know, I've always put out singles and I've done an EP before and, you know, uh, I wanted to have a body of work that I could kind of show and be like, this is this is what I like in terms of dance music. I like, you know, all the spectrums from hip hop to the heavier stuff to more housey type records to song songs, whatever it might be. I wanted to show the world that I wasn't a one dimensional musician music producer so this was a chance for me to kind of show off you know my versatility and also all the things that make up me as dylan and also as party paper so yeah doing that and mixing all those genres together um how do you find that balance is there like a steady flow from each song to the next on the album i mean yeah i think so i mean i think you know i think the, the good part is is always the biggest concern as a musician is always does it sound like you you know and i think that sometimes when you're trying new sounds or experimenting with a new genre you know you can kind of be like oh does this still have my brand does it have my sound and the good thing is is that it sounds like to you know to most people that you know they, they were saying it still sounds like you so i think i'm really excited i don't think we've finalized where the order of track lists will be yet but okay. um i think once we kind of get the finals back in we'll say okay this should start it off this should kind of because that's also super important you know to how you how you listen through an album so. Uh, in how many tracks do you want to do for the album? You think? I think we're thinking about eleven. I think eleven. Okay, and 11 you've been or twelve, yeah. And you've been busy releasing them. Uh, just recently, uh, you put out "Circle Up" with yes. Bipolar Sunshine. Mm -hmm. um, how was it working with him? How that collaboration come together? So that collab was awesome. I did kind of a writing camp for my album, where um, instead of just trying to be like, "Hey, can you work this day? Can you work this day?" I, I was like, "Here's some of my favorite, you know, top line writers. Some of my favorite people that I've worked with before." let's all meet up at this house that I rented out and let's just work for like three, four days. And so when we did that, it ended up being such a great thing because we got so much stuff out of it. And that was one of the songs that came out of it. So, it, you know, it was kind of one of those songs we just finished and was like, let's put it out. So when yeah. you do that, you call, you, is a writing session is kind of what you did? Yeah, or, we call it writing camp. Writing camp. Yeah. So I mean, are you inviting other people uh, just to the camp to kind of just throw out ideas and... Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, I have uh, people that I work with closely. There's other producers that can come in and be like, "Hey, you know, like, let me get your head on this. Like, you know, do you hear anything with this?" And then they might, you know, start working on something, and I'm like, "Oh, that sends my brain in another direction." But I think it's a next step for me as a musician, and as I get bigger, that you know, it's kind of weird because the bigger you get, a lot of times, the more people you start working with, and I think it kind of helps, you know take me from what I know and it's like for me I'm someone who I always like to learn new things so mm -hmm. that the best way to learn new things is put myself around people who are better than me so you know it was just kind of a cool way to kind of put everybody together in the same room and you know find some make some magic music magic well yeah. I, I think you are doing that and something that a sound that's totally I think pretty different is your new song uh, which is coming out on Friday yes it's lame Very and that is with Nika 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 yes. so we were just talking about this you this this wasn't just like all right Nika Let's have you on it. This was a process in finding this vocalist. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Music, uh, when I started music, you know, I always looked at music and I thought, oh, you know, singer gets together with a producer and you make a song. And it's like, oftentimes, it's, it's not black and white like that. And so for this record, uh, Sarah Aarons wrote the vocal. Um, uh, it was a top line that I heard uh, when I was working one day with uh, Diplo. And he showed it to me and he's like, oh, this might be a good fit for you. And I heard the vocals and I immediately knew where I wanted to go. So the production kind of came together and it kind of went through and then basically we were like we need to figure out who's going to sing this because I want them to embody it the way that it needs to sound. So uh, we went through like 10 or 15 vocalists and uh, we finally settled on Nika because she really understood what I was trying to do and her voice was perfect and you know she brought also her her sound and her uh, you know vibe to it as well. So I think it's a, it's a really cool kind of uh, 
collaboration of a lot of people that made this record happen. So. And what can you tell us about the song? Um, it's called Blame, and it is a. Uh, it's about kind of um, the habits that you kind of develop when you're in a relationship, and and how you, it's very hard to break those. And so a lot of times people kind of just you're, you you kind of blame things and blame things on each other, and you're blaming your relationship on each other and things like that. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a song that I think is going to reach a lot of people because it kind of relates to a lot of uh, people, especially, if, you know, once you hear the lyrics, you're going to like, you know, it's kind of, oh, okay. It sounds like a lot like a situation I know or right someone, I, or someone mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Well, we look yeah. forward to that. That's on Friday. And that's leading up to, I mean, you're on tour uh, December. You're going to be in Vegas, Omnia. Um, you're also up in Tahoe, uh, Snow, Snow Globe Festival. Yes. Uh, now, you're from Park City. So, I mean, do you ski, snowboard? I mean, when you go up there for those festivals? You know, festivals? I do. Uh, but... Uh, I, I don't really as much anymore because I'm like always worried now that I'm like go up there and want to go too hard and, and then hurt, I'll hurt myself. myself. Yeah, and then I you know I'll break my finger and then I won't be able to push <laughs> buttons anymore or anything. You know, right. so to have a rocket cast that would be you know have the the hair clip and a cast. Oh wow! At the yeah, same that's time, a, that's a winning combination. <laughs> yeah, um, for 2019, uh, new album and a tour. What we can expect. Yes, so the album will come out hopefully March, April. I, I mean, I'm knocking on some sort of wood thing here. Um, and uh, then it's just going to be kind of full. 2019 is going to be based on the album, and you know, I'm sure that more songs will come out beyond that. Uh, and then we're going to do a starting with a West Coast tour first in April. I'm really excited about and kind of premiering a whole new production and uh, kind of vision I have for the album that's going to be unlike anything I've ever done before. So. Is that something you're starting now, uh, working on? Yes. And is it is it tough to do to kind of put your ideas out there and have other people make it come together? Yeah, I mean, but you know what's so cool is 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 I'm, I'm working with some of the best people, uh, um, and the guy Yvonne, who's helping design the, the stage right now, is uh, you know it's it's incredible, you know the way he thinks and the way that he's able to conceptualize what I want to do and what he wants to do. We're able to kind of communicate well and. I mean, this is something that we're completely fully fabricating ourselves. We're not using typical, you know, LED walls and things mm -hmm. like that. So um, it's an experiment, and it's uh, it's definitely a dent in the uh, the, the wallet. <laughs> um, but I, I'm really excited because I think it's kind of a chance to, to, you know, set myself apart from some of my counterparts. So yeah. We look forward to the tour and the album. Um, now, before that, Thanksgiving is coming up. Yes. So in the, in the party favor house. Uh, do you cook? Do you have people over? Do you go to your parents' house? Yeah, usually, uh, usually over at the parents' house. But this year, um, kind of had some stuff go on with my family on the more personal side. So I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna end up doing uh, like a, a friendsgiving this year. Okay, so, yeah. friendsgiving is good. Well, yeah, I've never done that before. So I think it should be fun. Are you, you a know? white meat, dark meat? Um, I, I don't discriminate. You don't. Uh, okay. No, no. I'm gonna get all. inside your head. I want to know. Not uh, at all, man. Do you put, I, I like do you put gravy on everything? No, you know what's funny? I'm not a big gravy person, but like a barbecue turkey is the best. Yeah, okay. Barbecue turkey. Uh, I like the butter rolls. Those are my favorite. Um, I definitely go super hard on that. And then pumpkin pie. I was going to say pumpkin pie, not apple pie. Just I mean, I'll take whatever pie. Yeah. Ice cream. Fine. Ice yeah. cream on the pie? As much ice cream as possible, <laughs> yes. But pumpkin is like, it just it just fits the mood, you know? Okay. That's like the one time when you can have pumpkin something. and be, be it, okay. really, it really does. Yeah. All right. Well, look. We Enjoy you eating your food. Um, Blame is out on Friday. Look for the new album in April, March, spring, and uh, you going out on tour as well. I'm going. I'm, I'm right now leaving. No, You're leaving right now, yeah. and we're gonna follow you. And we're yes. gonna track you down. Yes. Party favor with 97.1 Amp Radio.